Many people who live in Cincinnati know of the new and modern looking area of Oakley with its many robust shopping areas, restaurants, cul-de-sacs, and entertainment. For those with a quenchable thirst for craft brewing, many look to Mad Tree Brewing on Madison Road. While patrons visit the brewery, not very many know of the building that resides behind the brewery or what its purpose is of being there. Well, today, we will be exploring that and learning a bit more about the Mad Tree structure. Back in the early 1940s, a company by the name of Rock 10, an American paper and packaging manufacturer who opened up a factory in Cincinnati, Ohio, where the facility operated for seven years until its eventual closure in 2014. The company stated that the closure is due to the current market and environmental regulations that would be too expensive to meet. The plant then became abandoned for two years until Mad Tree bought the property. It cost Mad Tree to $18 million in order to re renovate the building into a brewery, taproom, and event center. Why not renovate or take down the structure that resides behind the plant? Well, speculation concerned with the building say that the amount of asbestos in the building and being that it's next to a substation for powering the city are concerns brought up when talking about the building. Asbestos removal will cost Mad Tree more money to get rid of than renovate. As the days, months, and years go by, it continues to collect asbestos and rust in the Cincinnati seasons. The wind that blows against the metal can be heard anywhere in the building as the rusted supports ache from neglect. The boilers have gone cold where they once kept the building's raw materials warm for the long fall and winter months. The engines have stopped running to perform tasks for the many transportations of goods to the plant and the building no longer receives electricity to run the moving parts in the structure. I almost hit my head there. Yeah, so right here. It's right here at the back end of the boiler. Back end of the boiler? And this is why I wanted to go through the gate. Because oh, there's a, oh, yeah. there's a deer. Look at that. Yeah. So you can approach it from the back end, right? But then you mm -hmm. gotta get over the farm so. Alright, check this out. Oh my goodness, look at this. What is all this? Yeah, so this is, I mean, this is just a, a basically a foreman's office. Is this the boiler right here? Yeah, so this is the front of the boiler. Yeah. It's massive! It is. These three boxes here are combustors. I'm gonna go in the box. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. No, I think there was something in here. Dude, there's a frame in here. Yeah, a full frame. No, it's just... No, I'm gonna fly my drone inside here. I'm just kidding. No. No. Oops, I found the breaker box. Provided power. Say what? Um, there are some note cards in here. There are some, there's something in here. Just all blank. Yeah, actually, I found something cool here. This is. 
just a start and stop button. It could have um, been for power for this, could be? I don't know. It's no longer working, of course. Yes. The roof we go. It's all right, I'll flick them off if they have any problem with me. Let's grab this real quick, and I'll trade uh, you. I'm gonna do something wild here, okay? All right. Make sure you protect that. I'll all protect right. this. I'm gonna mm -hmm. get us. I'm gonna get up to the top of that. Okay. And then get us a okay. nice, uh, quick view of this. If you'd like to. This is where we get kind of exposed. 